welcome back to stylish Nigeria youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to stylish Nigeria youtube channel okay guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a high cap straight slip so you can see the picture up there so this is a very beautiful slip so i decided to do this video today i think i've done the off shoulder one of this particular slip before so, but this one is the one that has shoulders. So that's what we we'll learn how to cut. If you are new to the channel, you are highly very welcome. If you have not subscribed, I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. And then if you want to register for our online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp. I'll give you the details of the classes that we have available. And then on our channel, you can see a join button. You can also click that after subscribing also. And then if you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. I would appreciate if you like this video. Just like it. It actually takes nothing for you to just hit on the like button. Okay, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a high cap sleeve. So you can see the picture from the thumbnail picture that I showed earlier. So that's what we'll learn how to cut and sew. But before I continue, I'm just going to give a little bit of explanation. When cutting a, a normal straight cap sleeve, you can decide to you use your, your round sleeve measurement. So that part is key. So that round sleeve measurement, for instance, if you are using nine, you can set to add two inches or three inches that you are going to pleat on the top part of the sleeve to give it that small puffness on top. But if you are cutting this kind of high cap sleeve, you are going to need more than two to three inches. For this, you are going to need about between eight, nine, ten, depends on how high you want the sleeve to be and then the off that you want to add to it so these are the things that you put into consideration so for mine i'm going to be using about eight inches to nine inches for my own cap height because i want it to be to to pleat very well and to be high so now we're going to draft it on our pattern paper then before we transfer to the fabric okay guys so i just realized that i've already finished actually drafting my pattern before I noticed that I did not turn on the camera. So I'm just going to go back and explain everything all over again. So like I said, for the cap height, I'm just so lucky that I made use of a pencil. So for this um, tutorial, the cap height that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be making use of about eight and a half. So you mark that point of the eight and a half or nine inches, depends on how much pleat you want to add to it. You mark that part. And then the next thing you take out the long sleeve that's the length of your sleeve so for this this is the length of my sleeve i'm using about 18 inches so after adding all of this together once i pleat this part i'm going to have an extra of about one inch to elongate my the length also so the next thing now so this is the part that i'm going to pleat that's this eight and a half inches the next thing this the round sleeve measurement that i'm going to be using is about nine inches so before that, you measure how wide you want your sleeve to be. So for mine, I want my sleeve to be 7 inches, which is 8, which is 14. That's the wideness of my, of my sleeve. So I already have it here, 7 inches. So from this 7 inches, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a curve like this to meet that 7 inches. So I've created the curve. So you can use your pattern. You can use your pattern curve, so it depends on what you want. And then after that, the next thing you are going to create your round sleeve measurement. So for the round sleeve measurement, I'm going to be using 9 inches for my round sleeve measurement. So you are going to mark it round like this. And then you just use your, just curve it out like this. Just to create my round sleeve. So I'll mark that to meet this point. Now this is my round sleeve measurement. The next thing now, you are going to measure your bicep area, which is about seven, and then your elbow, which is about twelve and a half, and then the full measurement. So now you are going to insert your measurement. So for my bicep area, I'm using eight inches. So I'll just add stitching allowance of one inches to it. So from that end, from that nip of the around sleeve. I'm going to mark it in like this. I'll just curve it. And then around the elbow part of my sleeve, I'm using 
13 inches so this is 13 inches and then on the wrist i'm using 4.5 which is 9 inches so that 13 inches you divide all the measurements into two and then i'm going to curve it like this just mark it into this point like this and then mark so this is basically our sleeve so i'll cut this out now and then this will use to transfer to our fabric And that point so you don't miss it up so i'll transfer it now on the fabric okay guys so i'm going to i'm going to cut out now so i'll place this like this and then i'll cut So the next thing I'm going to pleat it. Okay, guys. So now the next thing we're going to start. We're going to start pleating. So this is our notch point. So we're literally going to pleat everything. So we can decide to. So I'm just going to start. Depends on how. So I'm literally going to pleat everything like this up to like you can see I've pleat almost everything up to like one inch. So if you are if you are making this put the lining and the the fabric you will do this on so the next thing in this part also so I just leave that let's start from this way so so the truth is you can pleat it however you want to pleat it but that's just it I took that one off. Let's just keep plating. Plating, plate. So I've pleated it now to the other side. So you can see literally what we have already here. So the next thing I'll just take it back to my machine and then I will secure, secure here down. After securing here down like this. So you can see what we have left that we're going to use for our round sleeve. So this pattern, then I'll join this pattern, then bring it back and show you. So if you are turning it with a lining, like I said, do the same thing to both the fabric and the lining to make it easy. And then I'll show you how it looks. Okay, guys. So at the end of the day, you can see how our high cap straight sleeves looks like. So you can see it actually came out really fine. So thank you so much. If you try this tutorial, you can share a picture with me on our Facebook group, Stylish Niger Sewing Group. Or you can send it to me on WhatsApp. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one.